I really like the little pop of color that this uh, butterfly patch adds to this plain blue shirt. Today I'm working on a Christmas gift for one of my granddaughters. And I've ordered this beautiful butterfly patch that I'm going to put on a long sleeved navy blue shirt. I've already measured and found the center part of um, the front of the shirt. And so I've got the butterfly already placed exactly in the center of the shirt down the distance that I wanted to put it. I actually tried on the shirt to find out the best place to put the butterfly. And I have this little uh, embroidery hoop that I'm going to use. You can sew them on without an embroidery hoop, but it's easier to get everything straight and keep it straight and not have any tucks or puckers in the fabric <clears throat> by using a an embroidery hoop. Put it on to the bottom part. And I want to make sure that the fabric is taut that it's not going to be moving around a lot and then I need to make sure the hoop is tightened as much as possible. Okay, so for thread, now I have options because the butterfly has got a number of colors, but the main color is a purple. So I'm going to use a purple thread. And to check, see whether your thread is going to match or blend or contrast or whatever you want it to do. You just pull the thread against the fabric. And if it's a close match, it'll almost disappear. So I'm going to use this purple thread. And I have some hand embroidery and cruel needles. And I'm going to use one of these. As you can maybe can see the eyes on these needles for the hand embroidery are a little bit bigger to accommodate regular um, embroidery thread which is like this. But actually I'm going to use just regular sewing thread. This is an art thread that I'm using from Coates and Clark. So all I have to do is thread my needle. And the stitch that I'm going to use today is just a straight running stitch. Have a little piece of fabric here with a an embroidery hoop on it to hold it tight and then I have some um, embroidery thread which is this is called a skein of embroidery thread and the embroidery thread is made up of six strands. There are six individual strands in each of these. It's also called embroidery floss. So in each strand of this floss you've got six different threads in it. And I'm going to put a little um, knot on the end of it. Now, in embroidery, you're really not supposed to use knots in most areas, so you don't get knots on the back of your embroidery material, fabric that you're going to use. But for these purposes, I put a little knot in the thread. Now, this running stitch, you can do a couple of different ways. 
one you just bring your thread up your needle and thread up through the fabric <clears throat> and then you go over a short distance which is a little bit more I guess than a an eighth of an inch and just push the needle and the thread back through and then you want to come back up from the back if I can get my thread okay and then for the next stitch you go over and then you try to make your next stitch the same length now you don't have to make your stitches a certain length and you don't have to have the spaces in between the stitches a certain length but whatever you start with you need to be consistent Now you can make your stitches longer and the distance between the two stitches shorter. Or you can make The space in between the stitches longer and the stitches shorter. Something like this. So here are three different versions of the straight stitch. But whichever version you use, you need to be consistent through the entire project and not change the stitching. I'm going to put a little knot in the end of my thread and trim off the extra. I'm going to start in the center of the patch and I'm gonna put the first stitch it's gonna be about less than an eighth of an inch from the edge of the patch All right, so we're at the halfway mark, so I'm going to stop and take a look and make sure everything's straight.
Okay, last stitch. Now we're going to turn our work over. And I'm going to wrap the thread here around the needle about three times and then pull the thread through to make a knot. I'm going to do that one more time. Catch a little bit of the fabric. And wrap the needle a couple of times through the thread to form another knot. And then we'll just cut off our thread and see how it looks. Now, we don't have to be experts at sewing to sew on a patch. And it depends on how the patch looks as to what kind of stitch we make and where we make those stitches. By using a purple thread, which matches the, the main portion of the butterfly, then... The stitches that we made all around the edge are practically invisible. But if you wanted to do a decorative stitch, then you could do that as well. So just remember, if we iron on the patches, they may come off in the wash. And if we try to take them off, we'll leave a glue or adhesive mess on our fabric so by just sewing our patches on all we have to do is go to the underside and clip the stitches if we want to take that patch off and put it on something else later then we won't have damaged the uh, patch and it can be reused but the stitches that we've used, even though I like the back stitch better, on some patches, it's just almost impossible to do a back stitch. So this straight or running stitch was the best option for this patch. Thanks for stopping by.